Good morning and welcome to Pathways to Parenting podcast with Julie Johnson. Over the last few days we've explored the topic of how to talk to our children about illness and death. Today and tomorrow we're focusing back on you, looking at balancing your daily lives as parents for the current crisis. Before COVID-19, many children were in some form of childcare or at school, hopefully allowing us some time for ourselves, an opportunity to engage with activities we find nourishing, that may be the work we do, the time we spend with our work colleagues, or perhaps Pilates, yoga, time to read, meeting up with friends, any activity that in some way feeds us or allows us to use our skills. But of course that's all changed. COVID-19 has drastically shrunk the physical space of our daily life, restricting us to the confines of our homes. Even allowing for the permitted one daily outdoor activity or shopping and walking the dog, this is a seismic shift. And I hear the cries of key worker partners or single parents, those with babies or small children, who most likely get no time to themselves at all. Within the new restrictions, we've lost the freedom to do many of those things which nourish and energise us. A single parent mum I spoke to as a teenager with significant physical needs and until recently has depended on a daily outdoor swim at a local Lido as her main lifeline to sanity. Well, that's now out of bounds and although she understands the reasons why the pool has been closed, her life has shrunk and her stress levels have greatly increased. So right now she feels distressed, feels robbed of her daily source of nourishment. We are all different. For others, it could be a bath, a favourite series, time absorbed in a book going for a walk with a dog, or even the chance to just finish a meal or a cup of tea. After we've, as we established in earlier episodes, it's essential that we try to create a sense of balance, a sense that we have some kind of control over our lives. When we're stressed or in survival mode, we drop the things that pick us up, that nourish us, often we, because we perceive that we don't have time or the mental energy to give to those activities. The changes brought about by COVID-19 may have forced us to focus on what we consider the essentials of life, cooking, cleaning, checking our children's schoolwork, checking in on vulnerable friends, being a good worker, making sure we're putting in the hours we feel we should to justify our salary, or supporting the partner at home who's bringing the income and needs space to work. What we're talking about here is the danger of burnout. Just because we may not be at our place of work, that doesn't mean that we can't burn out. Professor Marie Asberg from Stockholm University, who's an expert on burnout, uses the image of a funnel to describe how this can happen. Imagine the funnel, wide at the top, then gradually narrowing down to a tiny opening at the bottom. The large circle at the top represents our lives when they're full and balanced, but as things get busier and more stressful, we tend to focus on what we perceive to be the essentials, dropping the so-called optional or less important things. And so our lives lose their balance, and we feel even less fulfilled and more stressed than before. So it's essential for us to maintain the balancing of nourishing and depleting activities. There's a very practical way we can check in and rebalance with this simple activity. Now at this point, you'll need to stop and do a bit of writing. So make sure you do this when you have a few minutes to pause. Grab a pen and paper and follow the instructions. Maybe obviously needing to pause the recording whenever you need to. Write down 15 to 20 things you do in a typical day, from showering, the morning cup of tea, organising schoolwork, checking in with Co-Fight 19, cooking, cleaning, taking a look at what WhatsApp groups that you're part of, shopping, emails, news, daily exercise, reading to children, talking to your partner. You get the idea. Some may have more than 20, that's fine, but don't go crazy. It's just to get the general sense of your day. As you created your list, did you notice some activities gave you a sense of, I like this, an mmm moment, things you felt drawn to, lifted your mood, energised you, or perhaps brought a sense of calm? These are your nourishing activities. Which activities on the list give you a sinking feeling, maybe draining, a loss of energy? These are your depleting activities. Go through the list writing N by the nourishing ones and D by the depleting. Sometimes an activity can be both N and D. For example, if you run wellbeing type classes, you might be doing what you love, but still giving out a lot to your clients. My husband puts talking to me as N, D. He explains it all depends on what we're talking about. Our conversations, topics can fall into two categories, quite obviously. You get the gist. In my job, I love face-to-face counselling, 
but writing is not my forte, which means that the note making at the end of a counselling session is depleting for me. So now you have a picture of how to do your daily routine, either feeds or drains you. You're in a position to take more control over the problem. So what comes next? Well, firstly, ask yourself, is the balancing of nourishing depleting skewed towards depleting? If so, how can you rebalance it? Make sure you have more N's and D's and spread them throughout the day. Then reflect on the following. Again, pausing the recording as you see fit. Can you do more regular nourishing activities? Can you notice and savour when you're doing these nourishing activities? Not multitasking when you're meant to be nourishing yourself. For example, wolfing down a cuppa while you're writing your to-do list. Pause and savour that cup of tea instead. What depleting tasks can you let go of? The house does not have to be as clean as normal every day. Nagging your teen about the tidiness of their room. Let it go. Who knows, maybe they'll get fed up with not knowing where their things are and start putting things away properly. One day, maybe. Are you doing your depleting tasks at the best time of day? Would there be a better time, perhaps when you've got more energy? These ideas may seem obvious, but after many, many years of doing this exercise with people, so many people have had a real aha moment, quite taken aback at the imbalance of their daily lives. Living with the far-reaching impact of COVID-19 makes getting that balance more important than ever, especially for parents seeking to hold the family together during these challenging times. Remember that oxygen mask principle. Tomorrow, we'll continue looking at this theme, picking up on a new question of what attitude we might take to our depleting tasks. Let's finish with our daily question. What do I need right now? Stop, drop, and breathe. What do you need right now to feel well, to feel balanced? See you tomorrow and stay well.